Should the Kansas City Chiefs sign Le'Veon Bell? That is the topic on today's Chiefs Report. I am Harrison Graham, as always. I got my thoughts coming up in just a moment, but first, I want you guys to get your votes in. If you think they should, type S for sign him. If you don't, type P for pass on him. Should Kansas City sign newly released Le'Veon Bell? My thoughts coming up right now on the Chiefs Report. So let's re-hit the news from Tuesday night, and then I'll get deeper into my thoughts. Uh, we thought Tuesday night football was a big enough story in the NFL. Nope, the Jets and Le'Veon Bell decided we're going to take center stage as uh, New York decided to move on uh, from Lev Bell. They tried to shop him via trade, but no trade market developed, and uh, Lev Bell's a free agent, which uh, is very, very interesting. To be fair... He has not looked the same since he sat out in 2018 wanting that new contract from Pittsburgh, didn't get it, got franchise tax, so he sat out, signed with the Jets on that big deal, hasn't looked like the same running back. Should Brett Veach make a play for Le'Veon Bell? Chris Jones thinks so. <laughs> I mean, Chris Jones thinks so. He tweeted at him, Lev Bell, come on, let's go. Get into town, Let it come sign with us. Uh, he's definitely recruiting Le'Veon Bell. There is no doubt about that. But again, he has not looked the same with the New York Jets. 3.3 yards per carry, just three touchdowns in 17 games with the Jets. Uh, he hasn't been super explosive as a receiver. He's been reliable. He catches everything, but he was, you know, running wheel routes and stuff with the Steelers. That has not been the case with the Jets. Now, let me be very clear. While he's looked a little bit slower and not looked the same, this is just as much on the Jets as it is on Love Bell, in my opinion. Adam Gase is a joke. He never believed in him once he took that job. He's been trying to trade him for a year and a half. So I still think Le'Veon Bell has something left of the take. But I'll ask this question. Is Le'Veon Bell washed up? Type Y for yes. Type N for no. Is he washed? What do you think? Cast your votes in the comment section. I don't think he's washed up. But I don't think he's, he's Pittsburgh Lev Bell either. He's somewhere in the middle. And quite frankly, maybe that's worth taking a chance on. Type Y for yes, type N for no. So you look at the depth chart here. You obviously got a lot of bodies here. But after Clyde edwards Lair, it's kind of thin, right? Like Darwin Thompson's kind of in the doghouse. You could argue DeAndre Washington's RB3 now after Thompson's fumble a couple of weeks ago. Darrell Williams is fine, but I think Lev Bell would give you something more than that. Uh, I think if I'm Kansas City, I would take a chance here. I would take a chance here and add to my already loaded arsenal on offense, get a guy in here who's been with the losing organization and pitch him on the fact that, hey, you're not going to be a guy touching the ball 25 times per game here. I still think Clyde edwards Lair would be the lead back, but you can help us out. You can be our third down type of back, and you can chase a Super Bowl with us. That is my pitch if I am the Kansas City Chiefs. And I take a chance here. He's going to be cheap. I don't think he will cost a lot of money. And quite frankly, I think that is something worth taking a chance on if I am Brett Veach. If it doesn't work out, cut ties with him. No harm, no foul. More on this in a second, but you need to subscribe to the channel because we got videos like this all the time. We cover the hot topics here on the Chiefs Report, like Le'Veon Bell getting released. Should they sign him? That's what I'm doing today. Got the latest Chiefs news rumors, free agency rumors, all kinds of stuff just for you guys. I was going to do my trade mailbag today. going to do that either tomorrow or Friday now because, well, Le'Veon Bell got released and we have to talk about it. Subscribe to the channel. We do it all here on the Chiefs Report. Let's continue to grow this thing together. Hit that big red button and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you never, ever miss a video. Link below. Share it with a friend. YouTube.com slash Chiefs TV. Now, I certainly am not saying Clyde edwards Lair should be supplanted as the starter if Lev Bell uh, gets signed. He's been fantastic as a rookie. I still think he's probably the lead back if you do get Lev Bell. Maybe it's more of a 1A, 1B, but I am not uh, suggesting, hey, go get Lev Bell and he replaces edwards Lair. I'm more saying he's by far the best, second best running back you would have if you were to go and sign him, and it takes a little pressure off the rookie, right? Like, he's had a lot of touches for a rookie, especially in today's NFL for the running back position. You know, four or five of those touches can go to Lev Bell. He can take all the touches from your secondary type of running backs. 10 to 12 touches a game for Bell. I think that would be a good role for him on this incredible Chiefs offense. And look, could you imagine adding Lev Bell to the mix with what Kansas City already has here? Edwards, Elaire, Hill, Kelsey, Hardman, Watkins. I mean, 
Get another player on board and let's go chase another Super Bowl. That's what I say. Who's the better running back right now in the middle of October in 2020? Is it Clyde edwards helaire If it is, type CEH. Do you think it's Le'Veon Bell, type LB? I definitely think it's Clyde edwards helaire He's been a top 10 running back this year as a rookie, which is very, very impressive. But that doesn't mean that Kansas City shouldn't consider and flat out shouldn't sign Le'Veon Bell because I think it's definitely something worth doing. Now, obviously, his Pittsburgh days are a thing of the past, right? Like, I don't expect Lev Bell to come in here and be a four and a half yards per carry guy and uh, tote the rock 25 times per game, A, because you have Edwards Lair, and B, he's not that guy anymore. Like, regardless of how dysfunctional the Jets were, I don't think this is who Lev Bell is anymore, what he was his last four seasons in Pittsburgh. Can you get some of that receiving punch? Maybe, like, that's what I'm hoping for, right? Like, take a little pressure off Edward Zulaire in the passing game. Certainly an upgrade from Darrell Williams in that category. I think that would that's what you're hoping for, right? Lev Bell can come in, give you eight, you know, six to ten carries a game, catch four or five passes a game, be that type of role of more of a, you know, a true number two running back behind Clyde Edwards Zulaire. Only 28 years old. I still think Le'Veon Bell has something left in the tank. I don't think he's washed up. He tweeted that he has a lot to prove. I think he's motivated to get to a contending team. And honestly, if you've followed Lev Bell since he joined the Jets, he wanted to make it work there. He wanted to bring a winning culture to the Jets. Problem is, Adam Gase ain't winning shit. That's the bottom line. So, look. I think Lev Bell's worth taking a chance on. He, this is not an Antonio Brown situation where he's a total head case. Does he have some baggage? Certainly, but not nearly enough to say, ah, I'm not, I'm not going to sign this guy. Now, something that doesn't have any baggage are these high-quality face masks. Look, regardless of how you guys feel about wearing them or not, if you go to games, if you go out in public, you kind of have to wear one. This is just the situation we live in right now. So go to chatsports.com slash Chiefs Masks. These are all on sale, or most of these are on sale right now for up to 35% off. Take advantage. I know they're uncomfortable, all of that stuff, but we got to wear one. It's just part of the deal right now. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs Masks. That link is in the comments. It's in the description. Mask up so we can beat this virus and we can pack our stadiums very, very soon. Rep your team. Chatsports.com slash Chiefs Masks. Now you look at kind of some of the other running backs on this roster. You know, you got Darrell Williams. Like I said, he's been fine, but he's not Lev Bell, even Lev Bell at this point in his career. And it's not like you have to cut Darrell Williams. You probably would uh, keep him as your third running back. Quite frankly, Darwin Thompson probably gets cut in this scenario, uh, just the way that would go. Uh, speaking of Thompson, he hasn't been that great. Like six carries, 32 yards. Yeah, it's an average of five, but he puts the ball on the ground way too often. That was a problem last year. It's been a problem this year. He struggles in pass protection. I don't think he knows the playbook that well. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not, but it seems like he has not earned the coach's trust. So uh, you've got that. Then obviously, I think that's a big reason why DeAndre Washington was called up. Hasn't played yet this year, but I think if they don't sign Lev Bell, look for DeAndre Washington to get back into the mix. The point of showing all of these guys is, isn't Lev Bell an upgrade? Isn't Lev Bell better than the Chiefs' backup running backs? I think he is. Go sign him. So I'll ask you guys one more time. Should the Chiefs sign Le'Veon Bell? Type S for sign. Type P for pass. What do you have to lose? He comes in there, he's a head case, or he sucks. Okay, you cut him. He's not going to cost a lot of money. No one's giving him major money. The Jets are eating all of his contract, basically. So you don't have to worry about that. He's got plenty of money. He's good. I think he's motivated. He says he's motivated. He is a free agent, and I think the Kansas City Chiefs should definitely consider signing him.